At this time, it's our pleasure to introduce to you the current Sarah Baseball Head Coach in your 2024 Sarah Teacher of the Year. Please welcome to the podium, Mr. A.J. Perry. Good afternoon, everybody. I don't think I'll be as long as Mr. Tanet. <laughs> Um, I just want to thank everybody for coming out. I think uh, this is long overdue for uh, Coach Will. For those that don't know Coach Will, <clears throat> until about 2008, I would say, and hopefully I don't offend anybody, I think baseball here was uh, a thing of the past. And when Will stepped on campus and, and took over, he changed not only just the game of baseball here at Sarah, but he changed the culture. He changed what it meant to be a baseball player here at Sarah High School. I know it's a few guys in the in the audience right now that's looking at me like, oh, well, 70s, 60s, yeah, but from 90 to about 2008, it was on the uh, on the downward trend. And when Coach Will stepped on campus and took over, he took over in a way that <clears throat> his his mark has been left. And myself now, I'm continuing to uh, follow his footsteps. Coach Will is a, uh, he's a leader. And although Coach Will didn't graduate from Sarah, he is everything that a Sarah man is. And instilling that in kids that were used to having things their way, right? And letting them know that <clears throat> there's a right way to do things and there's a wrong way to do things. And Coach Will to this day instills that into every baseball player that steps into our field. Coach Will is currently uh, my assistant head coach, and he's more of a mentor to me than an assistant. Uh, coach Will's taught me to listen, Just be quiet and listen. And I'm glad that <clears throat> I'm smart enough to do that. <laughs> um, I just flew in from Arizona a couple hours ago, and a couple people, players out there, like Marcus Wilson, who wish he could be here, coaches, uh, Douglas McDougal from San Diego State, Ken Shaw from Yale University. They rave about Coach Will at these national tournaments and national showcases, and not so much for the coaching, but the training and the lessons he's taught. First round draft pick that he coached, Dominic Smith. Second round draft pick that he coached, Marcus Wilson. Sixth round draft pick, Jordan Brown. Tenth round draft pick, Ron Miller. Eleventh round draft pick, Juan Avina. Seventeenth round draft pick, Kelvin Bender. Eighteenth round draft pick, Makai Backstrom. And the list goes on and on and on. And it's all because of this man right here. Baseball here at Sierra today won't be, well, it wouldn't be what it is without Coach Will. His passion for excellence is second to none. And he demands the excellent from anybody. Doesn't matter if you're a first rounder or you're a kid that won't play baseball after high school. And these type of acknowledgements have to be given while they're here. And I love to praise Coach Will because a lot of people don't understand Coach Will. And when I say that, a lot of people listen to the tone and not the message. Because of his passion, his, his, his legacy, his bloodline, being family members of the great <clears throat> Hank Aaron. A lot of people just, they don't really understand sometimes what he's saying and sometimes it's too late. And they always come back, Coach Will, you were right. Hey Coach Will, can I talk to you? Oh man, I got to SC and it, you were right. And I hope that, not to make this about me, but I hope that I can continue that legacy as long as I'm here and I keep them with me, right? So, so you gotta promise me, Coach Will, that you won't go nowhere because as much as Sarah High School needs the students, the baseball players and the young men and women here, they need you also. And so without further ado, I wanna introduce to you not only the most winning baseball coach at Sarah High School, but probably the most, ba the, probably the, the best baseball coach in Southern California, arguably the best trainer probably in the nation, Mr. Will Aaron. Right. Uh, 
I'll try to keep this short. Usually when I talk, I get a little elongated with the words. Well, first of all, I'd like to thank um, my family, my wife, who's not here today, she's ill. I'd like to thank uh, my son and my daughter that are here that gave me the time, allotted me the time to do what I have the passion to do. It. I'd like to thank my coaching staff then that, that assisted me. Of course, you all know this is not a one-man job where you could do it all by yourself, but I was fortunate enough to have uh, good coaches that believed in me, and I kind of like turned them loose to let them do what they did best. But Ke uh, Kevin Martin, who's now a big-time scout with the Atlanta Braves, who was an assistant of mine, and Artis Patton, who handled my pitching for me, and Khalil D and uh, Denson, William Denson, who did a lot of the leg work for me in terms of organizing the schedule. You know, without a good uh, a, a good staff. It's just not going to happen. It's not going to happen. But I wanted to express to, I wanted to, to say this quickly, two things. I, I'd like for people to understand how I got to become who I am right now. And it's not just because I played professional baseball, but I was one who studied the game. I'm going to tell you how all that began. I had a chance to room with Orlando Gonzalez, who was a number one draft pick at the time, with the Cleveland Indians. And I was in my third year in professional baseball, just kind of going along with the flow, thinking that things are going to magically happen and you're going to be all right. Orlando, told, Orlando led the nation in stolen bases out of the University of Miami. And he came to me one day and he said, Coach, he said, Will, he said, he said, if I had your speed, I'd be leading the league in stolen bases. And at that moment, I began to question myself, why am I not leading the league in stolen bases? I began to study, reading pitchers' moves, head, shoulders, body length, footwork, how to come out of the batter's box, low, take the peak, run down the line, hit the front part of the back, which way to turn, to the inside, take the peak, come back, how to take the lead off, what are you supposed to know before you get off the bag? How many outs it is? Which way is the wind blowing? Where's my infield? Where's my outfield? Guys, you cannot win a championship unless you are trained and know what you're doing. So I began to study and I, and I, and I learned some things. And I began, I had a passion. I wanted our kids to learn this. With good teaching, as athletic as these kids are and you teach them, there's no reason why you aren't supposed to win. Because you're getting superior teaching, superior coaching. You can win games. I'm going to tell you just a little bit about the 2014 season. I'm going to sit down. We rode into Granada Hills, and we beat up on Granada Hills two games. They, I don't even think they scored. That team we had was awesome. After Granada Hills, we rode into Lankwood. We played uh, J.P. Crawford was there. We shut them down. I think they must have scored one run, 11-1. to one. I pulled them off to the side. I said, look. This is the team. We got the horses. I said, I don't want to hear any excuses. Let's get it done. After this year, you guys are gone. You may not get another chance for a while. Get it done. We rolled into Dodger Stadium, and then, well, I could see this day right now. They're all out on the field stretching. And I was talking to them. I said, God, this is the moment we've been waiting for. This is it. We're not going to melt right now. This is it. This is our championship. Long story short, we put a dot on the end. We rolled over Maricosta 9-1, to one, and that was it. Game was over. So I just wanted to say, though, it's not an easy job. You got to have good coaching, good teaching, good training. You got to have kids that are disciplined, and you must have kids that buy in. If you don't have kids that buy in, you're wasting your time. I'll end it on that note. Ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause for Sarah Wall of Hunter and Ducty, the winningest coach in Sarah baseball history, Will Aaron. Thank you.